And so the one thing that kind of blew me away was that I have really good friends from childhood that are struggling. I'm talking about living like sardines. They have like eight or nine people living in a very enclosed space. And they're sitting there kind of making up excuses of why they can't make it. And then yet they complain. And so if you're going to complain to your friends and your friend offers a solution for whatever is going on in your life, and you say no because your parakeet has, I don't know, hemorrhoids of some sort, nurse joke, um, you know, you can't help people that don't want to help themselves. And so then they see you down the road and they make up excuses thinking, you know, I've, I've heard people that have said the craziest things about my husband and I. We did it all with this. We don't have any, anything on the side. This is our life. This is our future. This is everything for us. And so because of that, we realized that it only took two to five years. We want to do this in two. And so I encourage you to change your life. And so people want to sit there and make up their own reasons why this is not going to work for them, thinking that they need a college degree, that they need to have taken English classes. You guys, we have like illegal aliens doing this because you don't have to have papers to do this. And so it blows me away. It is not it's simple but it's not easy and so a lot of people will make the craziest excuses and i'm kind of sitting there like dude you're messing with your own future you know what i mean you have somebody trying to help you not not me i mean my mentors one of them is in barcelona with his wife and then they're gonna go to central america back to honduras and and then everything is digital so they could just up and leave and so my thing is if you're not used to be be given an equal opportunity and so you think that somebody's trying to manipulate you and so going back i just want to encourage you to remember that time when you were fighting for your own freedom maybe you came to america and it was very difficult and then you thought man i'm gonna go back to my country and i have to tell you we can't do that anymore it, it's horrible nowadays, you know what I mean? My cousin left to Venezuela over, over 10 years ago. They're struggling really bad. I mean, they're, they're doing Uro and they made 75,000 in the sale of their restaurant 20 years ago and that was a lot of money. And so I want to encourage you to change your life, change your families and ultimately make a dent in the universe with the help of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because He wants you to get to a better place in life. This is the only way of doing business, whatever they're telling you outside is just simply trying to manipulate you into entertaining you, making you spend a bunch of money. We would never do that. We're ethically, we have very high standards and all we have to do is help people pull the 